Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Yo, what is good, J.I. Squad, and welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys, man. So as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail of today's video, we will be talking about my ceramic coating. Today makes about three months having my car ceramic coated, and this is one of the videos that I personally wanted somebody to make when I was looking into, you know what I'm saying, getting my car ceramic coated and stuff like that you know an actual review of what it's like you know owning the car like we all know what ceramic coating does we all know what paint corrections are you feel me but there's not enough information i feel like on you know social media and out on the internets about you know how to maintain the ceramic coating how you know what i'm saying everyday usage of the vehicle kind of like changes i guess you know what i'm saying and is it actually worth it like does it do exactly what you know what i'm saying you're paying for basically got a got a chopper in the sky flying the roads right now i was not speeding anyway <laughs> so as you guys can see just first glance you feel me vader looks pretty clean looking through the camera lens right now that joint looks pretty clean but once you walk up on it you feel me and really like get up against the paint you can see the car is actually pretty dirty i'm not gonna lie when you get your car ceramic coated and um you get the paint you know what i'm saying correct it honestly i would definitely do both of those at the same time i feel like i got the best results because i did both of those at the same time um because you don't want to put a protectant on a paint that's kind of like you know what i'm saying scratched up and stuff like that because all you're going to be doing is protecting the scratches that are in the paint so with that being said you know I feel like do the paint correction first, then get it ceramic coated right after. That way your paint looks amazing at all times. As you guys can see, you know, <laughs> Vader is actually pretty dirty right now. And it looks really clean on camera and also from afar, like when, you know, pulling into meets and stuff like that. The only way you would know my car is dirty is by looking at the wheels, honestly. And I've honestly been thinking about, you know, swapping these out or getting them powder coated gloss black. I'm not sure if I want to do it 100% yet, but I've been thinking about it. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below. Also, before I forget to mention, bro, the merch drop is live on the IG. I'm going to go ahead and post up some pictures. Um, shout out to my boy Alex. You guys already know he takes all the pictures. I'm going to put some on the screen. The merch is live. So if you guys are interested in getting any of the pieces that you see as of right now, they're probably on the screen while I'm talking. So if you're interested in any of those pieces, make sure you go over to the official underscore BYL dot shop on Instagram and you know what I'm saying, place your orders in right now. Back to the video, y'all. So yeah, like I was saying, I've really been thinking about getting my wheels powder coated gloss black because I feel like, you know what I'm saying, it's going to look even more menacing, completely blacked out. But then again, the lighter wheels kind of accent well with the satin wrap parts, you know what I'm saying, that come with the 1LE and then also the dive planes from Wild Hammer Motorsports. So with that being said, I'm still on the fence about doing the wheels, but as far as the car, man, honestly, I'll be honest with y'all, the car does get dirty, as I told y'all, but I feel like the ceramic coating and the paint correction kind of just helped me hide the dirt even better, um, if that makes any sense, because it's like, the car is dirty, but when you walk up on it, you know what I'm saying, that's when you tell it's dirty, but from afar, it looks clean. Everybody's always telling me, like, you know what I'm saying, your car stay glossy and whoop de whoop but it really be dirty. I'll be honest with y'all, when I was getting my car ceramic coated, like, going into it, I thought that the water was legitimately just going to fall off every single time, and I wasn't going to have to worry about, like, wiping it down or drying it off and stuff like that. But no, I was definitely misled. All the water does is, yes, it beads up, you feel me, and it starts to run, but when the water is stationary, you know what I'm saying, it dries up, and you still get water spots, like as you guys can see, I think, 
on this fender right here. But um, you know what I'm saying? So there's that. Then also, when you get your paint corrected, it will bring out all of the imperfections in your paint. So if you have a lot of rock chips that have been covered up with like touch-up paint, the paint correction, if it's done right, will expose all of those little chips. So if you guys pay attention to the front of my bumper, I have a whole bunch of these little like rock chips that actually got exposed after the paint correction because it peels up all that, basically everything that's like contaminating your paint and then all the extras that are on top of the paints layer, you feel me? It takes all of that off. Now, how is my car doing with scratches and stuff like that? Because y'all know that's why I got it paint corrected. I'll be honest, I wash my car with a new set of towels damn near every time. Um, I also got this like microfiber cloth soap for the uh, towels so like it keeps them joints you know nice and clean so I don't have to worry about scratches so I'll be honest I really have not gotten any new scratches after getting the paint corrected which I'm super stoked about um, so there's that um, and then one thing that I will say the dirtiest part of the car is always the rear bumper and the trunk always I'm pretty sure it's because you know we're catless so all of those fumes are just coming straight up and then they're getting smacked on the back of the car and then also when I'm driving you feel me the wind is coming from the front and going over the car so I'm pretty sure that's why you know what I'm saying the water never really cleans up from back there but while we're back here let's go ahead and get a quick start up and then you know we'll get to the wash Yeah, man, I'm pretty sure that's why my back bumper is always dirty because that right there is about $20 of gas. You know, E85 burn fast as hell. <laughs> but with that being said, man, we're going to go ahead and cut straight to this little car wash montage, man. Let's get it. Yo, what's good, y'all? So, as y'all can see by the, the fit, you know what I'm saying, the daylight, and the fact that Alex is here. If it ain't shot by Alex, I don't want it. You know what I'm saying? No cap. But anyway, the fact that Alex is here. We are at the wash. Aider is extremely dirty right now, as you guys know. And so what we about to do is we're about to go ahead, give Vader a quick wash. I'm gonna have my boy Alex grab some B-roll shots and also some pictures. Um, and we're gonna get Vader nice and clean. And I'm gonna also show you guys how well the water actually beads off of the car after the ceramic coating. So with that being said, y'all, let's go ahead and get some change. And I guess we're gonna get it started. Alex, you got anything you wanna you want, you want to tell the gang anything you want to... I don't know, just push notifications on. You okay. For my boy, J. I. No cap. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you cop some summer merch. No kizzy? I don't know if y'all heard about that. Y'all need to hear about it. Talk to him. We'll put it, we'll put a link, everything, J. I. got that. Oh, you God. Know what I'm and just, just keep an eye out for these pictures, man. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy the content. No cap. So where can they find the picture since you are be so humble, saying, brother? My Insta, Alex Lee. There's an underscore after the A and before the E at the end. So, okay. You know what I'm saying? It's right here, right here, wherever. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Alright y'all, so get y'all a quick little walk around the Vader man. You know what I'm saying? Full like wipe down, full wash, everything. Just didn't hit the tires yet. I like to let my car sit overnight with the tire shine. That way it doesn't get slung up against the paint or the rock guards. But as y'all can see, man, got Vader busting no cap. Let me go ahead and get you guys. Well, I guess I'll get the start up from the back. You know what I'm saying? More, more effect, you feel me? There we go. Quick love, you feel me? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? NRG, NRG to the front. You know where I'm at. No cap. But with that being said, man, we finna go to the second location, grab some shots with my boy Alex, man. And uh, yeah. You ready? Ready. I don't think they ready. Thank you. Alright y'all, so we just got to the, you know what I'm saying, location. Got my boy Alex 
tripod and all. We going crazy, finna get some crazy shots for y'all. Um, I think what I'm gonna do, if Alex can get some of these joints ready for Friday's drop, yeah. I'll incorporate some of the picks yeah. for Friday's drop. All right, bro, yeah, like, y'all know, y'all know me, man. Like, I be trying to make the videos entertaining for y'all. So, with that being said, you know, I'm gonna try to make these videos as entertaining as possible. Cause this is, you know what I'm saying, content that, you know, some people would like to see, but I also wanna make the videos kinda interesting for the people who, you know what I'm saying, not really kinda into this stuff, you feel me? So like, that way you still get entertained. So, with that being said, uh, if Alex can get the pictures ready, like he said he can, you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna throw them in the video right now. Why do you have to do all that extra shit, bro? You have no hey, man, brakes. You know, I own this bitch, you know what I'm saying, man? What to do, man? What going but, down, But man? you have hey, no fuck, brakes, hey, though. fuck Chuck, nigga. You know, hey, fuck Chuck, nigga. But look at that. You see what you could have hit? Hey, we talking about fuck Chuck, nigga. Okay, yes, for sure. It's, uh, NRG to the front, obviously. But anyway, you could have hit my car. You have no brakes, my boy. Oh, boy Re relax. Oh, boy, Just park your car. I got, I got, I got that bitch barely moved. That motherfucker heavy, boy. God damn. Yeah, man, we got. I think it's Lord Frankie on IG, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna throw it up on the screen right now. What's that? Doing? 